Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest Wipro interview experience. This interview happened on 26th March 2022. So guys, make sure that you do not miss any part of this video and watch the every question that I have discussed in this video. Guys, previously also on my channel, I have uploaded many Wipro interview experiences. You can find all such interview experiences under this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. So if in future or in coming days you have your Wipro interviews, then kindly visit this playlist. This particular video will also be added in this playlist only. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join our Telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiding as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so as the date of the interview was 26th March 2022, the branch of my friend was ECE. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. The first question that was asked from him was introduce yourself. And guys, this is the generally the first question that is asked from you in any interview, irrespective of the fact that whether it is Wipro, Infosys, or TCS. Many companies ask this question as your first question. So as kindly prepare this question very well. You can tell about your projects, your technology, uh, your skills that you have learned during college time, your internships that you have done. So all these things you can tell. Uh, tell in this particular answer but please do not say anything lie because if if the questions are directed towards you from this answer only then it will be a trouble for you so so kindly say only those things in which you are confident in and you and you want that the questions are asked from you from that topic in the interview so i hope this question is clear to you and this is the very important question as per your interview is concerned okay now next is <coughs> sorry are you aware of the bond are you ready to sign the bond? So guys, if you are aware, so you can say yes. And guys, when, whenever a company asks that, are you ready to sign a bond? Then kindly please say yes, that yes, you are ready to sign the bond. Because if you are not willing to sign the bond, they will not give you the offer letter because uh, for freshers, they, it is necessary to join, uh, to sign the bond in Wipro. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Kindly say yes, that yes, you are ready to sign the bond. Okay. Now moving to the next question, are you willing to relocate? So again, it is dependent on your perspective that you want to relocate or not. But according to me, you should you should say yes, that you should, you will relocate. Because in the end, it is the project that will matter that will you relocate or not inside the company. So I hope this, <coughs> this question is also clear to you. Next is, do, <coughs> do you have <laughs> any backlogs or do you have any educational gap? So guys, when this question is asked from you, Kindly do not lie for this particular question because after if you lie, let's suppose you have a two years of uh, educational gap and you say no that I do not have any educational gap. So it might be possible that you get the offer letter. But once they will run the background check before you're joining, they will know that yes, you have an educational gap and because of that you will be rejected. So kindly do not do not say anything lie in this particular answer because these are very critical answers. Even if your interview interview went great. but these type of questions you have lied then also your you can get rejected in the interview so please keep these things in mind and do not lie to any question be honest in an interview so i hope this question is also clear to you next is uh, you are from ece branch then why you are choosing an it job so guys any if you, uh, if the students that are watching this video are of non csit branches then this question will be asked from you in many companies for many companies, this question is very common that being a non-CS IT student, why you want to join an IT company? So the answer is very simple. You can say that during the course of your four, four years engineering, you have uh, explored different technologies and you now know that, that my interest lies in these technologies and you want to build a career out of them. So therefore, you have preferred the IT jobs as per um, in comparison to the ECE core jobs. So you can say like this. So I hope this answer is clear to you. You can say this answer also. And if you have a better reason, then you can say <laughs> that to the interviewer too. And please guys uh, kindly comment down that why you want to uh, really join IT companies being a non-IT non students. So I hope this question is clear to you. <coughs> Next is what are the qualities of team leader? Suppose you are team leader and leading a team of five members and you have to deliver a project in seven days. How will you do that? So guys, again, a lot of situational based questions are also asked in the interviews. You will have to keep your mind open and you will have to think before you speak. 
because these are the type of questions that can be make or break statements for you so being a team leader what you can say that you will divide the uh, you will divide the work uh, equally among all the team members you will for every particular work you will set a deadline and if someone is facing problem in doing a particular task you will help him or you will provide guidance to the team member that how you can do this work and how you can complete it uh, complete this in the deadline so all these uh, particular points that i have discussed you can say these points in your answer as well as if you have some more points you can always comment down or say to the interviewer so i hope these questions are clear to you next question was now there there are certain technical questions which are asked in this interview that which programming language you are comfortable with so my friend said c++ that is he, he is comfortable with c++ next is what is static and dynamic allocation of memory in c++ so first is static memory allocation in the static memory allocation variables get allocated permanently till the program executes or the function call finishes so whenever the uh, program is executing the static members get allocated next is dynamic memory allocation in the dynamic memory allocation variables get allocated only if your program uh, only if your program's unit get active so when your program is called then only the dynamic allocation of the variables that are used in them happens whereas in static it happens in the beginning only or you can say that in the second point it is written the static memory allocation is done before program execution and dynamic memory allocation is done during the program execution so i hope now the difference between static and dynamic memory allocation is clear to you and you will be able to explain it to the interviewer now on to the next question that is what is stack and heap memory how to release unused memory so stack memory stack memory is allocated in a contiguous block whereas heap memory is allocated in a random order now the uh, the cost of stack memory is less whereas the cost of heap memory is more so these are some points of difference between these two things you can always read more such differences on geeks for geeks or any other platform or you can take the screenshot for this difference also these are the particular differences that is there in this heap mem uh, stack memory and heap memory now how to release unused memory so there is a delete keyword in c++ that is that can be used to release the unused memory so i hope this particular question is clear to you next is a coding question was asked to count the number of vowels in a given string so again it's a very commonly asked coding question in an interview that you are given a string and you will have to count the uh, number of vowels in that particular string so for that purpose i will give you this link of geeks for geeks in the comment section you can simply visit the link and see the uh, see that how to code such answers so i hope this question is clear to you next is uh, or you can say i think it is the second last question that explain your project so guys whenever you are going for an interview you submit your resume and in resume please i suggest you that you put at least one project of your uh, of a good technology or your recent technology if you know a little bit of python ml so you, you can put a ml project if you know java then you can put the android project but please put at least one project to the in the resume and ex and if asked in the uh, interview then kindly explain that project in detail because explaining a project or writing the projects in resume gives an interviewer fair idea that you have the knowledge of technology you know that how you will have to work in a project you uh, you know the basics of the technology that you are using so all these things put a very good impression on the interviewer that yes you have worked on real life scenarios so please kindly put a project in your resume and explain it to the interviewer and guys if you do not know how you have to explain your project to the interviewer i have a dedicated video on my channel i will give you the link in the i button as well as in the description box make sure to watch that video after watching this video okay so the next uh, so the last question of this uh, interview was what is tuple and why and where it is used so tuple is a data type in python so how we declare tuple tuple is declared like this that is the parenthesis and inside the parenthesis you will keep the data and the one uh, one key difference of tuple is that tuples are immutable what does uh, immutable means like we have defined this tuple like apple banana and cherry so now we cannot do like this like this tuple uh, this tuple of zeroth index equal to let's just suppose a so we cannot do like this once a value has been assigned to a tuple it cannot be changed uh, so i hope this particular difference is clear to you and this was the last question of this interview so guys if this video was helpful to you kindly share this with your friends and hit the like and subscribe button for this channel 
because more such videos will be posted in future and do comment down that if you want more such videos to be posted so guys thank you for watching this video kindly hit the like button subscribe button and share it among your friends